was named. What a great blessing it is to know the Lord Jesus for yourself. What a great blessing it is to know that your sins have been forgiven. What a great blessing it is to know that Jesus is our Savior. Yes. And as a result of that, then we can sing some of these old songs and hymns that we were taught in childhood. Uh -huh. I hear one songwriter say, What a friend we have. All our sins and griefs we wore. What a friend we have. God for each of them, the balance of our leadership servants of deacons, deaconess, and trustees, and to each of you, my Heavenly Father's children, we thank God for you. As we consider again this Mission Sunday, Mission Sunday is the focal Sunday that we reflect upon what God has used us to do. Uh -huh. Mission Sunday gives us an opportunity to again give an account of what God has indeed provided not only to us but through us. And we bless God for Sister Ruth Red, a Mark veteran. Thank you very much. I, I want to just pull up a couple of things that, that, that came forth from concerning this mission's work and this importance of us all being engaged and supportive of the work. She shared that when you bring a little extra from your house, you help to build up his house. Mm -hmm. when, when, when you tithe, you help to provide the resources necessary to continue to do what God is paying for. I want to be in on what God paying for. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to lead this fellowship family and be engaged in. What the Lord says by his own words, what he is rewarding faithful servants for doing. And so I want to encourage you to know that again, this, this is only because God's love is in the hearts of believers like you. This is only because God's love is shed abroad in the hearts of servants like you. Again, there are many who don't want their names called. And we bless God for even their anonymity amongst us. But again, God gives us privilege to know who you are. Yeah. If I don't share with you in terms of the public forum, I'm going to share with you privately. I appreciate who you are, yeah. what God is using you to do. We want to again remember that based on what the Bible says, Jesus is explicitly clear yeah. on what it is concerning the yes, mission and commission of ministry. I just want to take a couple of moments to reflect upon, again, our fifth Sunday beginning in January. Some of you may or may not have been here in January when we started this walk together. In January, the first Mission Sunday of this year, we shared from Romans chapter 12. And we looked at the witness profile. Everybody know what a profile is? Yes, but again, it's an overview description of somebody in terms of their character and their conduct. Based on Romans 12, we looked at and examined the witness profile. And there, we also took a little time as we looked at Romans 12 to remind you of our witness work. There is a work in Romans 12 that we ought to be doing as a result of us being commissioned by the commissioner, Jesus Christ. And then the fourth Sunday in uh, April, we shared again there was a fourth Sunday in April. And on the fourth Sunday in April, we looked at committed to the ministry. 
Our vocal word in our theme this year is the word committed. And we took out of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 the imperative of being committed. The importance of being committed to the ministry. And someone learned on that mission Sunday that the ministry that we are to be engaged in is right there in the text. It is the ministry of reconciliation. Too many people are going around making up the ministry. No, Jesus is the author and the finisher of the faith work of his own ministry. And we want to make sure that we are aligned by his Holy Spirit in the work of the ministry of reconciliation. And so we began looking at the profile of our witness, of our work as laborers. We looked at then in April our commitment to this work based on the profile of our calling and his command on our and in and over our lives. And today we want to continue in that same vein, along that same road, as we look today at 2 Corinthians excerpts from chapter 8 and excerpts from chapter 9. And so today, those of you that have your Bibles or you have your call to worship, you can retrieve this same and we were going to stand together and we're going to read several verses from the passage for your hearing. From again, these excerpts, we want to begin at 2 Corinthians chapter number 9. We're going to take the second page for reading home. <laughs> if you'll follow me on again at verse number 6, it says, But this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you, always having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. Verse 11 and 12, For while you are enriched in everything for all liberality, which causes thanksgiving through us to God. Finally, for the administration of this service not only supplies the needs of the saints, but also is abounding through many thanksgivings to God. You may be seated. Hallelujah. 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 Today, as we continue to look at, again, this witness work, this witness profile, this witness ministry, we want to look at these excerpt verses from, again, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and 9, and we want to talk about simply the ministering to the saints. Ministering to the saints. As we look at chapters 8 and 9 together, we discover that th these two chapters together take us reflectively back and looking at why we receive resources as the body of Christ. Why do we collect resources as the body of Christ? All right. The text helps us to understand there was a purpose for which there were offerings given in the day of Christ. And the purpose primarily and predominantly was for the purpose of helping the unfortunate or the poor saints. So, thank of God, we need to understand and realize the major focal reason why we pay a tithe and give an offering is so that we can use the resources focally for the helps of the poor saints. All right. Helps of those who are part of the family of God who can't give anything back in return for our helping and caring for them. If you want to see where that began, then look in uh, uh, Acts chapter 2. You want to continue to be blessed, look at Acts chapter 4. If you want to look at again the first mentioning in terms of the collection, look at again 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 1. 
So the connection is in order based on who ordained it to be so. The problem is we never checked the Bible so that we could Old and New Testament be convicted to continue in what the Lord Jesus said to do. And so that's why when we understand that the money isn't for the pastor, the money is for the ministry. Hallelujah. The pastor is a part of the ministry. The Bible says he ought to be taken care of out of what you do. I'm not focusing on that. My concern is that you give as God says so that we can lead you in doing what God said. Is that right? Hallelujah. So now when we examine the text, let's go back to chapter 8, verse 1, and it says, Moreover, brethren, we make known to you the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia, that in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded in the riches of their liberality. For I bear witness that according to their ability, yes, and beyond their ability, they were freely willing, imploring us uh, with much urgency that we would receive oh, yeah. the gift and fellowship of the ministering to the saints. Amen. If there's any burden, brothers and sisters, we ought to be bearing as common yes, believers sir. in faith in Christ is the burden of caring for one another. Right. The burden of sharing with one yes, another. Sir. The burden of giving above and beyond what we right. right. That's what the Macedonian yes. was. Yes. They were poor themselves, but they took a little bit that they did have, and they gave liberally to help somebody who had nothing. I think I'm just going to worship him today. He wants us to know that, yes, if we're going to be a useful ministers of, in the body of Christ, we must then be willing to obey and follow the instructions of Christ. And Christ lays out to the church uh, through his apostles uh, what is to be done uh, in behalf of his own body. See, Christ is the head of the body the church. And as a result of him being the head, uh, he knows how to take care of his body. Uh, he knows what's necessary to make sure every single member is properly cared for, even amongst the fellowship family. Are uh, y'all going to pray with me? He says in verse number one, then, uh, of, of chapter nine, he says, now concerning uh, the ministering to the saints, it is superfluous for me to write to you, uh, for I know uh, your willingness. Uh, yeah, the first thing, saints of God, is, is that you must have the Spirit of God uh, yeah. that will break you down uh, to realize that you need to be willing to do what God wants. Yeah. I yeah. See, I found out God knows how to break us down. Yeah. See, I, I found out I came in hard-headed. I came in stiff-necked. I came in selfish. Yeah. But God knew what to use to break me down. Yeah. He knew exactly what circumstances to use to cause me to begin to seriously look for Him. Yeah. You see, it, see, God is, because He's omnipresent, that means by His Spirit He's everywhere all at the same time. And yeah, I don't need to call God up. God is already present. Wow. What I need to do is acknowledge that He's God. Yeah. I wish I had some help today. See, see, if you're going to be a, a servant in ministering to the body of Christ, yeah. you must first of all be a willing worker. Yeah. You've you got to be a committed servant. You've got to be willing to humble yourself and acknowledge that, yeah, God could get the work yeah. done without you. But somebody thinking that that's so important that the work won't go on. Wow. Some of us think because we've got longevity uh -huh. in hanging around here, <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. again be humble to realize that God loves us uh, yet God can get his work done without us. Yeah. God cares about us. Uh, and matter of fact, he cares so much it, he proved how much he cared. Uh, that's, the, that's the celebration shout at the back end. Yeah. But let, let, let's look at this again. He says in number one, the ministering to the saints. I don't need to rehash that issue because it was for the purposes of Jesus Christ himself ordaining the yeah. receipt of gifts that now we simply encourage you uh, be like the churches uh, in Macedonia. Be like the ones who don't have a whole lot 
based on it, uh, you might be ready uh, to be a servant yes, uh, so and I share with the less fortunate. Uh, uh, see, if you can't be there uh, to help hand out the baskets, uh, you ought to be somewhere uh, praying for those who are. Uh, yes, uh, in this army. Right. If you reach 70, 80, 90, uh, you might not be able to run uh, like those younger folks. Yeah. But you still ought to be able yeah. to find on a
things, then you first of all need to get the script straight. Mm -hmm. You need to get the word right so you can help somebody who's believing some damnable heresies. Lord, I'm right. 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 again that, that it may be ready, this gift that you've given, this bountiful gift, this generous giving as a matter of generosity and not as a grudging obligation. Now, I hear some folk grumbling and complaining. Uh, yeah, I gave my money and uh, they misused it. Uh, I gave them all that money and I don't know what they're doing with it. Uh, yeah, you need to understand it ain't your money. Uh, who's using what belongs to God. But if you do what God said, God will multiply it. God will increase what you make in your stewardship. Don't you know you better have a give an account for your stewardship down here as ministers of God, as servants of God, as ministering servants to the saints. How dare we that belongs to God. How dare we uh, lose our sense of spiritual balance uh, and start claiming stuff uh, that don't even belong to us. Uh, how dare we uh, get so high and mighty uh, that now uh, God can't tell us nothing. Let's go and bring a pastor under shepherd overseer. Y'all mm. going to pray? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've got too many folk in the line who are out of order. Mm. We've got too many folk in the line trying to run the church instead yeah, of being led in the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You pray with me? Mm. Uh -huh. That now when I examine myself, uh, even as the servant, I, I hear Paul uh, sharing my sentiments. Uh, yeah, it ain't because I'm so good. <laughs> it ain't because I'm so great. Matter of fact, when I look at my track record, yeah. I'm the least of the saints. Uh -huh. oh, I persecuted yeah. the yeah, yeah, I said some stuff against yeah. the right. I did some stuff that was right. I went out and, and called some stuff in my ignorance, yeah. in my fallen nature. Oh, right. But thank God, Paul said, but he loved me. Yeah. He loved me. Yeah. He, loved me. Yeah. he met me on the road to the mess. Yeah. Knocked me down, oh. made me look up. Yeah.
you're walking by faith yeah. and walking by sight. God ain't asked you to count how much you got. He's asked you to trust in Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've been challenged. I've been tested. Uh -huh. you, you see, God has given me some large amounts of resource. Yes, yeah. and, and, and the devil came and said, mm-hmm. You gonna tithe on that now, boy? Yeah, you, you gonna give what you really give and use to give out of that? I am talking to him. I know he a fool. I'm just gonna scratch it, brother Deacon, and make sure that it gets in the repository because God's got some more coming. He who sows sparingly, uh -huh. but also free. Yeah. I, I don't want to be guilty of just sowing a little bit in Come on. I, I don't want to be guilty of, yeah. of just sowing how much I think I, I can afford. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to be guilty of just giving God what I want Him to have. Yeah. I don't want to be guilty of, of, of walking by faith and counting every nickel and dime of, like God can't give me more than I get. But have you ever experienced giving to somebody and before you can get through the day, God gave you twice as much? Amen. 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 God telling you to give a, a large amount of something and before again the month was out and whatever you thought you were going to have to pay with it, God gave you that as a <laughs> See, that's where he wants to bring you to. Yeah. So that you learn how to trust him. Yeah. Uh, so that you learn how to be in the position of being one who, who knows the where is that in Acts, Acts chapter 20. Someone, someone check with me. Acts chapter 20, verse 35. Acts 20, 35. Somewhere around there. 35, 36. You're going to find it. Acts 20. Are you there with me? Acts 20. Acts 20, verse 35. It says, And I have shown you in every way by laboring like this that you must support the weak. And remember the words of the Lord Jesus that he said, it is more blessed to than yeah. to. I want to be there. Yeah. I, I want to be in him there. To know that it is more blessed to give than even to receive. Yeah. So that now, as I receive, I know it's not just for me. As I am given the administrative privilege of, of giving out what belongs to God, I will be selfish, prejudicial, or partial concerning sharing as a minister yeah. to the saints. Are y'all going to pray with me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Some folks want to decide which saint gets what. Folks want to pick and choose ahead of the pastor. Well, yeah, yeah, get in, but don't yeah. get in. Well, that's why I'm in the league. That's why I'm in front. Yeah. 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 That's why I'm in front. Yeah. 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 So that you come and need the instructions that God gives you to give to you. Yeah. So that as we do it by faith in Him, somebody's going to see the miraculous happen. Yeah. yeah, that person that you had counted out, you had scratched their yeah. yeah. ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God said, watch what I do to put my own yeah, yeah, matter of fact, they been the last five years, they've been way back here in the South 40, almost not even close to the line. But now I bring them up here in front. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, how did that happen? Ain't that the same one we gave up on? Yeah. Ain't that the same one we said ain't just gonna let it change? Ain't yeah. 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 that the one we just scratched off and told them that God would be ahead? Yeah. I say you need to bow again. Yeah. All right. Even when you see them falling, he said you who are spiritual. Galatians chapter 6, anybody got your Bible open? He said when you find a brother or sister, we're talking about ministering to the saints, not the ain'ts. Yeah. Those who are spiritual. <laughs> Restore them in the spirit of meekness. I thought, well, we ain't got enough meat servants. I don't have enough meat servants who will struggle and suffer with fall and failing yeah. folks. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, and, and, and God is dead. Some of us are in that department. Yeah. 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 Some of us struggling too, but we don't want nobody to know it. Yeah. Some of us, yeah, we want paychecks. 
paycheck from being homeless, but Amen. we ain't telling you about it. Yeah, that's why he's asking God to be God in your behalf. Yeah, yeah. So that he will still do it when you not pray. Yeah. When you won't call on his name. Are there any witnesses in here? Yeah. Yeah. Remember the word of Jesus. It's more blessed to be in the position of giving than even it is to receive. And now when we look at the sowing and reaping uh, uh, equation that the Lord put out, he says, yes, yes, those who sow us sparingly shall reap sparingly. And he who sows bountifully will reap bountifully. And so he said, now look, th th this is the privilege that you have from the God who made you. He said, let each one of you give as he purposes in his heart. Uh -huh. My goodness. That's why I say to God, Lord, in my plea to you, yet just, just, just let your will be done. Yeah. Do, do what only you can do. Yeah. Because I saw that heart that I came into the world over here. Yeah. I, I, I see the nature that I'm still wrapped up in. Yeah. I, I hear them voices that get up my flesh that keep trying to remind me of what I could do instead of what I should. Oh, yeah. No, y'all ain't going to help me to say He's reminding us, yeah, we now need to be more motivated by the right attitude now that we might be uh, able to purpose in our hearts to give uh, uh, for the glory of God, wow. to give for the benefit and welfare of the poor, uh, 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 of the weak, uh, of those who can't give back. He says, that don't give grudgingly uh, or because you feel like you're being pressured because God loves the cheerful What kind of giver are you? Hmm. That I'm serving to you. That kind of ministering saying to you. That is, that is uh, are you the cheerful? Are you the hilarious? <laughs> That's why I even on Sunday say, you remember when the pastor says, now it's time to give? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Don't act like I said a curse word. <laughs> 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 now it's time to give. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> But if you're not given, then I understand why you want. You have to be convicted by the Holy Ghost to understand what I've already shared. Then I can understand why you just sit. He said, but I'm calling you to grow up. I'm calling you to mature. I'm calling you to learn. I'm calling you to suffer. I'm calling you to sacrifice. Because in that, the Lord is well pleased. Mm -hmm. See, see, I, I heard some things saying, of your quantity, it's the issue of your motive. Right? If you only got ten dollars, hallelujah, and you give all ten, guess what happens for you? Yeah, if you got two, two hundred thousand and you give none, guess what's in it for you? Yeah, yeah, the folk who got a whole lot think again, God got to bow down to them because they gave a little out of their whole lot. God's not impressed. Are you ready to the end of this? God yeah, got yeah. impressed about your giving a, a little out of your whole life and then looking for applause and trophies and plaques yeah. and, 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 and awards and certificates. Mm. Lord have mercy. Have mercy. Oh. He, he's saying if you are concerned about the ministry to the saints, then join in fellowship and fellowship of the pastor, preacher, teacher. Yeah. Right. Can you see the example? Mm. Can you see the evidence? Can you hear the truth? Can you bear witness of the same? He said that if you can, then you need to be up close. Hmm. <laughs> you need to be personal <laughs> concerning your calling and the witness that you are along with yes, him. Yes. Because this is about his will. Yes. It is about his word. It's about his work. And the Holy Spirit knows all three of those. He knows his will. He knows his word. He knows his work. Hmm. And he's going to be looking for willing witnesses. No. All right. I'm going to be for willing witnesses. And then he goes on and he says in verse number 8, he says, And God is able to make all grace abound toward you. Don't you think you need grace to abound about that? Yeah. Don't, don't you think you need God's unmerited favor to abound in your behalf? Yeah. Don't you think that, yeah, when you walk out this building, uh, there might be some shooters out there that got a bullet uh, heading for you. Uh, don't you think you might need God's grace to abound uh, uh, yeah. that bullet to, to do that and make you uh, yeah, while uh, they're trying to take you out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 to miss you 
as you trust in him, as you follow him, as you obey him. God is able to make grace abound towards you. That you always have all sufficiency in all things. I think I'm going to pause a little bit here a minute because I like that A-L-L thing. Yes. I like to hear the convincing when God say all. Oh, I mean, he mean it. He said all. Oh. He said trust in the Lord with all. Oh. Hallelujah. Need not into your own understanding here. Oh. 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 Yeah, yeah. All your ways. God is able to make all grace abound towards you. That you are always having all sufficiency. Yes. See, I'm not sufficient in my flesh. I'm incapable in myself. But in Him, all things. In Him, we live and move and have our being. I'm going to trust in the Lord with all I found out uh, it's in my best interest uh, to give him all. Uh, I hear the song that uh, say, uh, all to Jesus, I surrender all to him. I freely give him uh, yeah, uh, love and trust him uh, in his presence uh, daily. Hallelujah. Daily live. Are you going to surrender all to him? Are you going to serve with all that you are, all that you have, all your being? He says he's able to make grace abound with all sufficiency in all things. If I trust him in all things, I will see him deliver in all things. If I keep all his commandments, he will keep me in all my ways. What he said or, or what he promised to do. And so he continues in verse number 9. He said, Now may he who supplies a seed to the sower and bread for food supply and multiply the seed you have sown and increase the fruits of yes, your righteousness. See, the good thing God is saying is that what he started, he's going to complete what he began, he's going to finish. Yes. As a result, look at the text. The one who supplies the seed to the sower is God. The one who supplies our daily bread is God. Yes. The one who supplies the living water is God. Yes. The one who supplies those still water streams is God. The one who supplies shelter in the time of storm is God. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to remind myself whose I am. I need to daily remind myself who I belong to. I need to daily encourage myself to know that I have an ALL God who reviews ALL things as he purposes and so that all things with Romans 8, Sonny 8 says, but we know and we know all things work together to them that love God to those who are the called according to his purpose. I'm so glad the Holy Ghost knows God's purpose yeah. for my life. Oh, I'm so glad God knows every hair on my head. Yeah. I'm so glad God knows yeah. every event that will come my way. Yeah. I'm so glad God knows yeah. every temptation yeah. the devil will come with. Yeah. I'm so glad yeah. God knows yeah. every trial, yeah. every trouble, yeah. every tribulation. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that as God supplies and multiplies the seed that we sow, it increases to the fruits of your righteousness. Yeah. Are you listening to the word? Huh. Yeah. As God is working, yeah. as a ministering servant, mm. God increases the righteousness that He gives in your life. Yeah. Yeah. What? Amen. 
Where, where can you go and get that kind of benefit? God is working in you to do his own pleasure. If God is doing it, he's increasing the righteousness that is his on your account. And then you're not thankful? You're not going to praise him? You won't speak well of him? You're not going witness? You refuse to obey? I'm praying for you. He says, finally, while you are enriched in everything, verse 11, for all liberality. See, God don't want you to be stingy in anything. He's not stingy in anything. God don't want you to be holding back on Him because that's who you're holding back on. If you don't have faith in God, then you're going to be squeezing the little stuff you do have.
didn't tell us what was right. That's right. It wasn't uh-huh. because we didn't know what was right. Yeah, 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 yeah. we sat right back there yeah. in the corner. Uh-huh. We thought we was oh. getting over. Uh-huh. We got them candy wrappers back there. <laughs> you know what I was? Yeah. 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 Trying to slip some candy in our mouth. Without nobody seeing us. You know we was busted. <laughs> no, at the church, we got to learn the sermon. We got the correction. <laughs> teach us and my trainers and my leaders not only in word but in deed and so today saints of God if we're going to minister to the saints it must not only be in lip service but it must be in suffering service not, not only in telling folk about Jesus but demonstrating that we know Jesus as we love even our enemies and I'm going to leave this with you when you understand the, the first public sermon Jesus preached Matthew chapters 5 6 and 7 successive and collectively. Isn't it peculiar that Jesus opens his first public presentation? We're talking about bless. Ah. Yeah. Bless. But many of us haven't taken the time to go back there and check it and understand what it means. The other group, uh, when we look at it and examine it closely, what he was sharing was a spiritual revelation of relationship. That yeah, God moves us into by grace to faith in us. That's why it doesn't matter what my condition is. I know that based on my relationship, I'm blessed. Yeah. 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 Praises shall continually be 